So you were saying that about the team that had uh, 13 guys attempting to build something similar to Kazoo in Java, and how did that go? Yeah, so they said they, over three years with 13 developers, $10 million spent, they tried to build what is essentially the same principles of Kazoo, and they had to scrap it because they couldn't make it work. Whereas we've done it with basically two engineers for the first three years, and now I think we're at five or six. And how do you feel about that, James? I feel wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> but it, I mean, that's the, that's the other thing about 2600 hertz is being self-funded. We've always had to stay lean, mm -hmm. um, and we've always had to use like our cluster, our hosted cluster was on entirely on Rackspace virtual servers for the first three years, and just tiny, like literally one gig instances. Um, and so it, we found memory bottlenecks, and we found CPU bottlenecks really fast. We found serialization points really fast by running on a constraint. Because the other thing you have to remember is we're all, we all come from this background of hobbyist telecom people. Um, and so that's kind of where the Blue Box Free Switch core community are a lot of hobbyists and a lot of people that do this for their day job as well, but they also tinker with it at home. Um, and so we never wanted to lose our roots. So we always want Kazoo to be able to run on commodity hardware. You know, we want to run on Raspberry Pis. And so Erlang gives us the ability to stay that lean and run on that level of hardware. But like with one of our customers who has two ginormous servers that they run 40,000 plus endpoints on, we can scale vertically and it just works. And it takes advantage of the, you know, the multiple processors and increased memory. Uh, and it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the, the WhatsApp, like there's been several articles yeah, exactly. recently about WhatsApp only having 50 engineers and they're scaling to, they're scaling to a billion users. No, I think their core team was only like 10 or 11 engineers. Yeah. It's tiny for what the yeah. amount of messaging. But Kazoo is very similar where the majority of our data processing is ephemeral. Mm -hmm. And that's where Erlang kicks every other uh, platform's butt as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. um, you know, shuttling messages around is what it does. Yeah, if we were muxing audio, I would not choose it. Right. But I could write a NIF and, and do the audio processing there and still use our own to distribute uh, the commands. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn it off. Thanks, James. <laughs>